These are the latest NASA satellite images following the collapse of an ice shelf in East Antarctica. It's the first time in human history for that region previously thought to be less affected by climate change. Basically for the last, you know, 20 years or so since 2000, um, it's been losing a little bit here and there, but not much. But then right at the beginning of 2020 or so, it started sort of having itself every few months there. But then, you know, over two days, it basically was gone, which was surprising. Its disappearance coincided with a freak heat wave that sent temperatures far above average, raising questions about the stability of the world's largest ice sheet. A report published this year by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration predicts the sea levels could rise as much as 12 inches or 30 centimeters in the next 30 years, the same amount recorded over the entire past century. We're reaching the level of building foundations, and so all of those things have to be protected. And we were easily talking about $400 billion, uh, 50,000 miles of protection along the coast. In this Southern California town, rising sea levels and coastal erosion have been eating away at this bluff for decades, threatening one of the major railways and hundreds of nearby homes. We are very worried about the erosion of the cliffs, um, and we have created a sea level rise adaptation plan, which talks about how we need to save the cliffs from further erosion by putting sand on the beach as much as possible. Tens of millions of dollars have been spent so far to mitigate the impact, but the latest projections for sea level rise also predict a profound increase in the frequency of coastal flooding. According to the California Coastal Commission, approximately 85 percent of California's population who lives and works in coastal counties could feel the impact. A long list of properties, roads, buildings, waste sites, power plants and tourist destinations totaling $100 billion in value could be at risk. The state's Coastal Commission warns that California's coastal cities should prepare for ocean levels rising more than 3 meters or 10 feet by the end of the century. It is Tianshan CGTN, Los Angeles.